Dr. Rose Aikengwa Gosso. I'm a registrar in the Department of Family Medicine, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital. I am a dedicated member of the ARDUCTH, which is an affiliate of NMA Cross River State. I humbly present myself to serve this noble association in the capacity of financial secretary, believing that you all will provide me with the needed support to achieve the aspiration, which is born out of an undying desire to be of, of service to an association we, we all hold in high esteem. I do make a promise today upon my honor to ensure financial prudence, probity, and accountability with my watchword in the discharge of my duties as a financial secretary. In order to encourage and improve the financial commitment of all members, thereby leading to a strong financial base for the association, I believe that there is need for unassailable financial transparency and accountability. I am hoping to introduce strategies that will make it easier for every member of the association to have timely and unfettered access to information with regards to the financial standing of enemy cross states within the ambit of what our bylaws prescribe. I am on a mission to further digitize the financial activities and records of the association, as this will enable members make available in record time. Light years ahead of its contemporaries in terms of fiscal discipline and accountability. I intend to introduce digital bookkeeping of the financial records of the association. Members shall be able to review the records as well as their financial standing in the association via their mobile devices. This method shall be updated quarterly and also the financial rep reports shall be given annually. This I believe will improve the already existing financial transparency of the association and assist in preparing records for audit when the need arises. To achieve these goals and more, I offer myself to serve the state to serve as the state financial secretary with your support at the forthcoming by elections. Thank you and God bless enemy cross your states. Thank you very much, Dr. Rosa. Yeah, you can hear the clouds in the background. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. So uh, we are going to take two questions for Rosa, uh, so we don't take too much time. We need hands up. Being an unopposed position, we can't wait for, uh, we, we are not waiting for any other person to talk before uh, asking her. So let's ask her her questions. When the treasurer speaks, we also ask her hers. So um, any questions for Rosa? The first two hands. Sorry, uh, host, can you see the two hands because I can't see hands from here. Okay. Uh, Dr. Angela, Dr. Angela Imoki, unmute and speak. Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Good and the house, our very wonderful by-election Eleko. Good evening, good evening, NMA Cross River State. I don't have a question for Dr. Rosa. I really enjoyed her position. I just want to encourage her. Financial officers usually come under fire from members for issues relating to finances. You know, money is, money is a ruling power. So I just want to encourage her that even as she has presented herself to serve us, she should humbly do that and tolerate some of our excesses. Sometimes we would ask her questions that she may not be ready to answer at, this, at that given time, but she should put in her wealth of experience, which she has garnered along the years, and humbly serve the association. I trust her. I know her. So I trust her capacity. Thank you. 
You're welcome, Dr. Angela Imoke. Any, any other comment or question? The aspirant? None? Okay, Angela, you can take down your hand. Okay, so we, we move to the next uh, um, position. Treasurer, are you there? Justin, I am. Yes, sir. I'm it's all right. Sir. Okay, good evening. Mm -hmm. Same thing. The rule is five minutes. You tell us about yourself, your mission here, why. We should even bother to come at uh, okay, and comment. Okay, it's all right. Sir. Yeah, please carry on. Thank you, sir. Okay. Good evening, the chairman and members of members of State Officers Committee, NMA for Silver State, my distinguished elders, senior colleagues and colleagues. I am most grateful to you all for having created time out of your busy schedule to come online to listen to us this evening. I thank you all. My name is um, Dr. Justina Ewa Iyam, a senior registrar in the Department of Ophthalmology, University of Calabar, Teaching Hospital Calabar. I'm a member of NMA Crossover States, ALD CTH, as well as M1 Crossover States. I'm a very prudent, detailed, and easygoing individual, outspoken, and I stand, I stand, I'm standing for the truth at all times, void of sentiment or political correctness. I humbly present myself for service for the Office of the Treasurer NMA Property Basic, and I solicit for your unwavering support to make this ambition a reality. First experience, I'm an incubate chairman, finance committee, department of ophthalmology, UCTH. With this uh, position, I'm saddled with the responsibility of the collection of monies from every member of the department, including nurses and other clinical yeah, yeah. towards the planning and prudent management of the fund for the department's environmental end of the year events. I'm also a finance Welfare coordinator of my department, uh, of that uh, ophthalmology residents in CTH, which uh, the position has assumed since the inception of my training to date. During this period, I have been responsible for the collection and management of funds amongst resident doctors in my department with quarterly presentation of financial reports. I also ensure judicial developments of funds for the day to day running of welfare activities among residents. I was also a member of the subcommittee in the local organizing committee of the Malaysia Society of Nigeria OSN annual scientific conference, which was held in 2019. During this period, I was involved in the planning, fundraising, and execution of activities of the conference with a comprehensive financial report, which was submitted at the end of the event. I have also held the same position in the past in different associ uh, association as a treasurer in my first degree. In all these responsibilities, there has never been any time money was missing or was not accounted for. In view of this, I believe I have a sound mind and integrity as well as knowledge and understanding as to what the role of the treasurer itself. Why treasurer? MMA cost of estate. Having handled money at different levels, I feel it is time to bring my experience to NMA cost of estate. Secondly, the immediate past treasurer and the SOC have done so well within the past one year. This is evident by the detailed and comprehensive financial report that was presented at the AGM. Thus, with this meeting's exit, someone with a like mind and love for details like myself 
has to step in and continue with the good work. Of course, we know that uh, uh, our past treasurer who resigned honorably left a legacy which everybody commended. And that legacy has to be maintained or even stepped up. And that is what I will ensure if given the mandate to serve. Constitutionally, the office of the treasurer entails receiving all monetary income that we do uh, to the association, making payments, making payments ordered by the OGM, AGM, and or approved by the chairman, and also keeping account of such receipts and payments and submitting such receipts and other account book and document to the auditor who mm -hmm. then after 31st of July and in any case in time, who then uh, prepare a report for the chairman before the AGM. Mm -hmm. This goal by the special grace of God, I shall ensure using the justice agenda. My name is Justin, which signifies just, just fairness, uprightness, and justice. Let us do justice to NMA funds and finance. Via just utilization of NMA funds, mm -hmm. which I have mm -hmm. already said, only the payments that are being added by OGM, AGM, and are approved by the chairman will be disbursed from the coffer of the association. Of course, I will ensure uprightness and sincerity, which I have been known for. I will also encourage transparency and integrity. I will not compromise standards that have been led by our predecessors. And at, at all times, I will be accountable. I also enjoy being a team player, working trustworthily with my other peers and colleagues by ensuring an effective collaboration with other members of the SOC to, in order to prevent wastage of enemy funds. To fulfill the above agenda, I will ensure every expenditure is documented and money is only released after a voucher has been raised. This is to ensure accountability. I will liaise with the financial secretary and chairman to ensure a detailed financial report is presented at the end of my term. I also hope to build on the successes of my predecessor to improve on prudence and good financial record keeping in any necessary state. With all this, I believe that I'm going to manage NMA's funds and finances in an efficient and trustworthy manner. Therefore, I ask you to solicit, I solicit for your votes to enable me to become an NMA's um, possible state treasurer. And by the special grace of God, I promise with the fear of God in me to give you my very best if elected as NMA treasurer. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Justina, for the presentation. It's all right, it's all right. Uh, now, you, um, same pattern, questions and comments from... Um, hands up on Zoom, not in your house. No hands. out i'm i'm really excited you know money matter is not proud thank you thank you thank you very much that's good wow that questions no hands up okay promise or why Oh, why? Promise on mute and talk. Good evening, sir. Good evening, promise. 
All right, good evening, the chairman, enemy cross the state, the chairman of um, ELECO committee, and the members of the ELECO, and then uh, members of NMA cross the state. Um, please, I, I don't have a question, it's just a comment and also in form of an, an advice for both. I am um, financial secretary in coming up to so, um, both of them. Um, I've actually discovered that there's something um, I haven't heard from two of them when it comes to um, financial um, advice. I believe that they both know that once they have been elected into their offices, they are going to form the financial team of um, NMA Crossover State alongside with the chairman and probably other um, SOC members. One thing I want them to understand is that um, the SOC and enemy crossover state will so much depend on them when it comes to financial advice. Looking at the financial standing of the association, they should be able at all times, at any point, to be able to advise both the SOC and members on how to go about spending in the association. In a situation where there is no much finance and probably there is need for something, they should be able to take their stand and say that, oh, chairman, um, members, we don't really have enough in our account and we cannot carry out this, despite the pressure. So that is one thing I want them to understand. At all point, they should be able to know that, yes, we should be able to advise the association that this is what we have in our account. We should be able to do this. We should not be able to do this. We should be able to do this. So that is a little advice I have for them. And in all, they should be able to be firm in their decision. Thank you very much. Thank you, very Thank you much. Dr. Wai. Um, the candidates have heard you. So in the absence of uh, questions and comments, uh, I think we've, we are done with this manifesto. We should remember tomorrow is the grand finale and um, it can't happen without you. The ELECO team is ready. And um, without your votes, we can't have these people in. That, those positions will still be vacant if you don't accept them through the vote. So please turn out and let's um, have these offices occupied. So I now give the mic to my chairman, the ELECO chairman, to give us a closing remark. Thank you very much, our able ELECO secretary, Dr. Alexander Awudu. And thank you, members of Enemy Cross River State, for finding time to be part of these activities, which has been lined up. I want to solicit your cooperation tomorrow to please come out, even though they are unopposed candidates. The constituency states that they must pull to thirds of the vote before they can be accepted. And the candidates are really ready to, to take up this mantle of uh, activities in the enemy. So please don't fail them. Try to come out. The election is going to start from 9 o'clock to 1 o'clock, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And thereafter, we cannot, but I'm sure you are conversant with the, the rules and the regulation, the conditions for you to vote that you must meet. The, the, your name must be on the, 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 the registers, uh, the Bisley register that is financially in good standing, and you come out with your valid ID card for identification. So please let's make the day tomorrow and God bless us. Good night. Good night, sir. Mm -hmm. Can we take a closing prayer, please, secretary? Okay. Let us pray. Mm -hmm. Almighty God and Father, we thank you for bringing us to the end of this manifesto session. We thank you for the grace to carry out the task so far. We pray that you guide and protect us through this night and also help us through the proceedings tomorrow as we try to make the vacant offices of our SOC occupied. Protect all of us in our various homes. Grant us our heart's desires, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you very much, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm.